How's your new book doing, uh, Johnny the Walrus? We've got a link in the description below to those who want to get it. And uh, I saw today that you are the number one bestseller in, I forget what it was, humor or something? Or no longer LGBT books? Yeah, that's unfortunate. They've, uh, uh, they, they've I think I've they been They eat their own, man. Yeah, I've been, I've, been, I've been marginalized as the number one bestselling LGBT author in the world. But I, I think once I was given that title, you know, once a best-selling LGBT author, always a best-selling LGBT author. So I will be able to claim that for the rest of my life, and I will. You know, um, but uh, yeah, the book is uh, the the book's still doing well, and I think you know it, it's it, uh, we we were really expecting, and this is one of the just weird things about big tech is it's it's, it's always hard to know exactly how they're going to respond because we were really expecting that Amazon would ban the book, but. Um, mm. But they haven't, and in fact, I, I guess they've they issued a statement to some LGBT news organization that got in touch with them and said, "Hey, why don't you ban this thing?" And they said, "Well, it's not, it doesn't technically violate our paid speech rules." So, well, which it doesn't, which it doesn't, because it's uh, it's just a book about a about a, a boy who pretends to be a walrus. You know, what's what's the big deal? <laughs> well, I mean, the book seems to be doing bloody well. Did you expect it to do that well? Uh, it's hard to say that I expected to do as well as it did, uh, mainly because I don't ever expect anything to, to go well. So yeah, it's, it's done, it's done. I'd say it's probably exceeded my, my expectations. And I mean, it does, in all seriousness, it does show, and it shows a lot of things, but I think it shows also that people are, especially when it comes to children's books and everything, uh, parents, I mean, this is, you're a parent, any, any parent who goes to a bookstore these days, especially like Barnes and Noble, you know, you walk into the children's section, it's just nothing but it's it's not just that it's skewed or biased. This is extreme mm. far left propaganda all yeah. over the bookshelves, and people are are fed up with that and, and tired of it, looking for an alternative. One of my supporters says the people want to know when will we see a sequel to your groundbreaking book, Johnny the Walrus? Anxiously awaiting the news. I mean, you're on a roll. You can't stop now, can you? Uh, I, I well, we will definitely have to do more children's books. I don't know if it's going to be, I don't know if it'll be another adventure of Johnny or not, or uh, I, I've, I have some ideas in the works, but we're kind of, I'm workshopping them right now. Uh, but we do, I do have a couple of projects that I'm working on um, that, uh, that I'm pretty excited. I can't say anything about them, so it's not much of a tease, but I'm pretty excited about it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.